Future Farmers of America is still a very important part of the curriculum at Macon County High School. And as you're about to see, being part of the local FFA chapter has literally paid off for one MCHS student. Aiden Flynn walks with his FFA advisor, Aaron Walls, to the pen set up for farm animals at Macon County High School. Aiden raises goats. The day we shot this video, he had brought his farm animals to school. My favorite part would be when they have kids, just right off the bat, because they jump up and then, like the other morning, I woke up before school and I happened to just look out the door to my new two baby kids and I see them bouncing around in the backyard and just seeing them bounce around knowing that they're healthy, is, it really warms my heart. Aiden recently received some great news. Every year at National FFA Foundation, which is the money raising sector of the National FFA organization, uh, sends out applications for students to fill out in order to receive SAE or Supervised Agricultural Experience grants. Um, an SAE is what a student does geared toward agricultural education outside of the agricultural education classroom. So uh, Aiden has raised goats for several years now. He started his own herd. He showed he's raised market animals um, and he's got a pretty unique operation up and going. So um, when it was time to fill out applications this year, I, I shot it to Aiden and, and asked if he'd be interested. And of course the answer was yes. Um, little did we know that almost 6,000 students across the United States would apply for uh, the 2020 SAE grants. Um, the grant that Aiden received was actually from the Amerisource Virgin Foundation, which is a pretty large pharmaceutical company um, that gears not only towards human health, but towards agricultural health as well. Um, so he'll be receiving that grant uh, in check probably around February, um, and then afterwards he'll have to uh, make sure that all of his accounting is correct and um, make sure that he's keeping up with all the purchases and report back to National FFA um, about the progress that he's made with his grant. So it's a pretty big deal um, to be one student out of 6,000, which 30 students received it nationwide, um, but to be selected as one of those, you have to have a pretty impressive SAE and, and show proof that you've put in the work and the effort to, to ma manage and grow your own operation. I'm not going to lie, I guess any kid would be pretty excited to know they just won $1,000 and I'm no different than any other kid. And honestly, I was excited enough to go home and make a list about it. I told mom that night I'd already had a list the length of my arm of stuff I could buy. So it was really excited and I'm always looking for ways to improve my SAE and my goat production. So it's going to be very helpful. Being one of only 30 high school students chosen from more than 6,000 is quite the honor, Aiden says. An honor his teacher isn't surprised he captured. Aiden is honest to goodness, uh, the student that every teacher dreams of having. He is a hard worker. He's dedicated to, to agriculture, to um, his studies, to everything that he does. Um, he's probably one of the most dependable students I've ever had in the classroom, whether it's a text message or a phone call. I know whatever needs to be done, I can count on him to get it done. Um, I mean, as far as his work ethic, it's second to none. He, he puts forth work in the FFA chapter, in school, um, in, at home, obviously, with his goats. Um, honestly, he, he's a phenomenal student, um, and he's a huge asset to Macon County FFA and Macon County Agricultural Education. I'm very thankful, Barry, because if it didn't have agriculture and as agricultural as I am based in my family and at home, I don't know how I would make it because ag is my life, a lot of it. Concerning his future, Aiden knows what he wants to do in a few years. When I graduate high school, I want to go to UT in veterinary science. And as he said earlier, I want to come back and to make a veterinarian here at Lafayette because I'm pretty hometown person, not gonna lie. I'm not big on vacations. I like to stay pretty close to home. And just seeing our future kids grow and knowing that I could possibly be a part of that when I come back home really means a lot to me. I enjoy the agricultural part enough to say that it would not be a normal day if there wasn't a little bit of ag in it. If I was not going to the ag portable every day or to the shop or to see my goats or to see any kind of animals, 
it would not be a normal day in my life. It's really what makes me me and makes my life as good as it is. A young man who wants to make a difference in life. Here's guessing he will. Reporting from Lafayette, Barry Hyatt, NCTV.